Hey, what's up guys? So I know I've been ranting about this whole Black Ops 6 thing and it's a lot of fun with the movement, the guns. Uh, yesterday, it was a little odd and I'm going to talk about it. I was gaming. Uh, shout out to Slain. Shout out to Dirty Deeds for joining in the squad. I, I just felt as though the moment we all squatted up as friends, it became so difficult that we couldn't barely breathe to win a match. And Slain is on a powerful PC, Dirty is on the Series X, and I'm on the PlayStation 5. So it was fun, but then I started getting these Cold War vibes, the guns, just the, the sounds that it makes when you shoot somebody, and just the overall looks and aesthetics. And I hope that as these updates come through, that uh, the game is not gonna feel and look more like Cold War in the end. I'm hoping that they're going to take that uh, out and give us Black Ops 6 feeling because when we were hyped for the trailer and how it looked and it actually looked really good and this and that, you know, the, when you play the game, you're like, it doesn't feel as though what we were watching. I thought it was going to be something more unique. Um, I, I like the game. It's a lot of fun. I'm playing it. I'm not going to deny that. But at the same time, I'm just feeling like yesterday felt like I was playing Cold War, literally, with the Omni movement. And uh, I'm not going to rant all about this the whole time. I'm going to talk about the comments that everybody's been sending all the views that you've been giving me um, has empowered me to uh, have a better algorithm, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. Uh, the comments, I do read them because it, I, I, when I look at my phone and I see the new comments, I read it through. I'll tell you what I do after I read your comment. I hit the uh, I hit the the thumbs up, and then I I give you a. Um, one of those images, the profile image. So that's me after I read your uh, comment. The only way I wouldn't read the comments is if there was so many that I can't even keep up anymore. You know what I mean? But I do read all your comments. So when you say, you know, you just you be you, or, you know, they would never make one game so perfect because then they can't sell the next game. I, I get it, guys. I totally understand that. And I appreciate all the support. We are uh, very close to uh, reaching the, uh, we're at 2,237, we're close to reaching the 50, so that's half, that's uh, 13 away, yeah, 13, uh, 13 subs away from 2,000, uh, is it, yeah, 2,300 and... Uh, yeah, 2,337, so, or 2,000, yeah, 2,000, something like that, you, you know, it, it, I'm, I'm just having trouble thinking this morning, uh, there's just a lot on my mind when it comes to, you know, work, we're going to be doing some new kind of work, and uh, um, I'm, I'm just not, I've always been doing gas for a long time, so to go to a company and grow, that's, you know, I, I just want to make sure that I have all the questions I need, because, Technically, if I'm going to be doing more dangerous work, I should be getting paid more. But at the same time, we'll see what happens. Uh, right now, we're going back to the whole PlayStation Pro is right around the corner. Uh, you're talking in, uh, what is it, like nine days? Or, yeah, 11, 10 days, and I go pick it up. It's pretty cool. exciting um, so we're back at it again and now we got the pro right around the corner we're playing black ops 6 we got nuke town coming through so that's gonna be the new map um, I see a couple people buy into the uh, volt edition and Nothing really appealed to me in the Volt Edition this time around. 
just, yeah, you get all this stuff, but I don't really care because I'm going to level up, and if I get enough points to get stuff, I'll buy stuff. I'm not worried about it. I still have COD points on my PC. I have 3,000 COD points on my PC, so if I use that, um, I don't know if I could switch that over to uh, one account. I'd have to figure that out if I could switch all my COD points to one account. So that would be cool if I could know that, but I, I don't know that for sure. Um, with that being said, I'm overall enjoying Black Ops 6. I hope today's morning experience is not going to be so grindy because uh, it was it was hell yesterday just trying to win a match. And uh, it's going back to that same gameplay experience where... You can do so much, but it doesn't matter because the other person's already got the kill on you. And, and that's where I'm starting to wonder, like, is that how rigged the game is to where they know exactly when that other person's going to approach me and shoot me and kill me that quick? And there's nothing I can do about it. That's how rigged the game is, I'm thinking. You know what I mean? So, um... Yeah, I was just thinking about a lot. I know I started off uh, like I had my head strong, but now I'm just kind of, you know, sometimes you just get in this mode where you're just like, like, like trying to figure out words to say, but today's Sunday, Monday, then we have Tuesday, Wednesday off, um, might be going to uh, Salem on Tuesday or Wednesday, I don't know which day, but my wife wants to go there, so I was thinking maybe I should just go Wednesday, um, and then have Tuesday for Call of Duty, so, uh, that, that's probably what I want to do, um, and then after that, it's all good, it's all good, um, in the meantime, going to work a little early today so I can get some hours in, start the week, and see what that does, you know. When we got a couple days left before the elections, that's insane. That's insane, you know. I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't want my channel to be about politics because a lot of people don't like that, but, you know, we have this over our heads, like, what's going to happen, you know. Um, I, you know, honestly, I just want everybody to make more money. I want everybody to be able to have more money in their pockets. I want America to be the way it used to be, not what it's becoming, because it's not the America that we knew. It's the America that they have been planning of ages, and now they're trying to bring it all the pieces together. And we know we know what's going on. We know what's going on. Um, I don't I don't got to say much. So uh, we know exactly what's going on, and it's just not. It's not right because the America we once knew is no longer upon us. This is the America that they want us to uh, believe is the uh, normal America, which in fact it's not. This isn't the normal America. This is not the normal America. And anyways, Metal Gear Solid 3. Rumor has it that GameStop has the game coming out, and more than likely it's going to be November next month, and I'm, I'm excited for that game. My wife is extremely excited for that game, because I've never played Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, so to play it on the remaster is going to be, I think it's going to be freaking awesome.
So yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3. I know I paused for a split second. Uh, just give me time to think, guys. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 is going to be one of the games that we're going to get into, for sure. Um, I still got to go back into Silent Hill 2. Uh, I promised you guys that. Um, my goal is to try to sell some goods so I can actually um, play... To get the storage, the SSD, I want to get 8 terabytes of storage. Um, because I want to add that to the PlayStation 5 Pro. Uh, for anybody that's still wondering whether to get the PlayStation 5 Pro, I would say simply yes, because if, if, you, if you realize that you're only spending a couple hundred bucks more for all the tech that's in it, and then when you saw the latest Digital Foundry video where they're showing off the uh, F1 racing game, some kind of Grand Prix racing game, it's not, it's, it looks similar to Gran Turismo, but they were showing off all the uh, ray tracing effects. And those ray tracing effects look really nice, especially on an OLED TV, I can imagine. So that's a no brainer. I would say definitely do that because um, for the, the graphical quality, the fidelity. Now some games still will be at 30 FPS, but it's okay because we knew that it wasn't gonna go past the graphical capabilities. Now, Sony, when it comes to PlayStation 6, if PlayStation 6 does not have a better CPU, a better GPU, next gen in every retrospect, um, not going to be happy if we're going to be getting something similar to the PS5 Pro. That's something that needs to be said because the PS5 Pro, in my opinion, is um, it's performing like they said, but I, I feel like if they added a more powerful CPU, if they made more of the percentages higher, so instead of the first percentage being 45%, why don't you just give us 50%? Why does it have to be 45? Like, how come it can't be 50? How come it can't be 75% more higher? So it encourages the buyer to buy it. Um, that's what they should have done. They should have given us more higher percentages. Uh, the 67% should have been 75. So 45 should have been 50. 67 should have been 75. And um, 28 should have been 48%. And those would have been high, high numbers. And then the CPU should have been upgraded from the one we have to, I would say, a couple steps above. Um, but with that being said, this is what they decided. We're just going to keep it at that for now. And um, appreciate it for what it is. Uh, so, my conclusion is this. The PS5 Pro is I would say enough for now I'm sure we're going to see some uh, I'll probably see some major differences because I got the TV fairly close in the game room and I'll, I'll point things out when I see things I'll say yeah I'm noticing this I'm noticing that and I'll make videos of it that's a promise I'll make videos of it so you can see what I'm talking about you know um, and at the end of the day That's what I'm going to do. So... Alright guys, this video has been a good video, but it's been a little bit, I'm kind of in the, in the distance because I'm just thinking about a lot of things right around the corner. We have all these things going on, so I'm just thinking about a lot of things. 